We start in northern Colorado tonight where a wildfire is threatening homes near the Larimer Boulder County line. Tonight, homes on several roads just north of Lyons have been evacuated as crews try to get the 337E fire under control. Larimer County Sheriff says as of this evening, it is 300 acres and 0% contained. 130 firefighters from several agencies are on the scene battling this place. So let's get to tonight's team coverage. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson is tracking fire conditions. First, Denver 7's Rob Harris is live in Lyons tonight, hearing from people who've had to leave their homes behind. Rob? Yeah, and Ann, they were really worried not only about what this fire means for their homes today and tomorrow and through the night, but really what it means going forward because they've seen so much fire activity so early in the year and summer just around the corner. Within 15 minutes, you know, the sky was smoky and ash was starting to come down. Eric Malmberg dropped everything and drove up from Boulder to help his son and daughter-in-law evacuate their home. On the way, he is reliving his own experiences from the Marshall and NCAR fires. I don't remember any series of time like this. I mean, there have been fires in the past, but not repeatedly like this, and who knows how they're starting. Aaron Titus knows the toll fires can take, not just on the land, but on our emotions. Every fire is different, um, every disaster is different, and it is natural and normal to feel um, you know, triggered in a time like this, but um, it's okay. Titus works for a group called Voluntary Organizations Active in Disasters, VOAD for short. Fires are unpredictable and we're not out of the woods until we're out of the woods, right? But um, everything that I saw up there uh, gave me hope that things are going to be okay. So, Ann Shannon, as you mentioned, we're looking at about 300 acres that have burned so far, 0% contained. But the good news, though, is that here in Lyons and just north of here, the winds have come down substantially as have the temperatures and the relative humidity has gone up. So they're saying the fire is laying low at the moment. That's expected overnight. And so firefighters are feeling good at the moment. They're going to really attack it tomorrow as the sun comes up and as those temperatures come back up, too. Back to you. That is encouraging. All right. Thank you, Rob.